after you've decided how long you want the door to be, break out the tape measure and mark the top and bottom of the door. Use a straight edge to finish that line across the tank to make it easier to cut on. I also like to keep things even easier for myself, so I'll use a razor knife and score the line just to make sure that my blade on my cutting tool stays on target. I used a Dremel on the lowest power setting to cut the frame away. Just lay it on the tank in the groove and let the weight of the Dremel do the cutting for you. The next part has sound. You want to make sure you don't cut the glass. I just wanted you to hear what it sounds like when this tool hits glass. Now it's time to get mad at the tank. It takes a little bit of effort to work this silicone free and be able to break the, the frame off. Uh, but keep at it and it'll eventually come apart on you. Just don't break the glass in the process. Once the frame's off, it should look something similar to this. I like to test fit things before I glue or silicone anything down. So here's the glass in place prior to the silicone. And then take it out and run a bead of silicone like this. The tape is to catch any excess silicone from oozing out underneath the glass. Then lay the glass down on the silicone and press it firmly in place. I placed a piece of wood on the glass to keep pressure on it while the silicone cured. I'm using two 12 inch acrylic piano hinges. I got two latches to secure the door when it's closed and a knob to put on the glass so I can open the door easier. All the acrylic pieces are going to be glued onto the tank with epoxy. So I'm going to test fit these hinges and make sure that they fit right and I don't have to do any more trimming before I start applying the epoxy to the acrylic. Once I'm satisfied with the test fit, I'll remove everything and scrape all the silicone off of the glass and clean the glass with an alcohol-based cleaner prior to applying the epoxy. Now it's time to attach the hinges to the tank. We'll use a two-part epoxy. Make sure you use rubber gloves for this step. I didn't record the actual gluing part just because I wanted to make sure I got it right, uh, but I will show you what the hinges look like once they were epoxied to the tank. And here they are. It'll take 24 to 48 hours for the epoxy to be fully cured. Uh, we'll wait until then to epoxy the glass door to the other side of the hinge and then we'll be almost done. The hardest part was finding the right stuff to brace the door up. Here's the door in place with the epoxy curing. Next is the screen. Here's the screen frame kit I bought at the hardware store. Uh, and I used a Dremel to cut it. Um, I didn't stay on the lowest setting, which it is there. Uh, once it, all the cutting was done, I did a final test fit to make sure that it fit good. And it did, so spray paint. Uh, I wanted to paint it black so it matched the frame of the tank. Uh, here is the screen that I use. It's a uh, fiberglass insect screening. Got it at the same box store. Um, and they're cut it big uh, so that it fits good. And then you can trim the excess off. Uh, and this is what it looked like with the paint dry and the screen in place. Now it's time to drill the hole in the tank. I used plumber's putty to create a reservoir to pour water into to keep the drill bit cool. Uh, and then here's the diamond tipped hole saw that I use to cut through that. And here's the finished hole. I didn't record me drilling the hole because I couldn't get the camera set up at a good angle. And this is the finished product here is a 40B that I converted to a vertical tank. Um, I think it came out pretty good. There's some things I would do different if I had it to do over again, but overall pretty pleased. Hey, thanks for watching our how-to guide. Here's a list of the materials we used for this project. 